Welcome. This is uh, Bert Doman with another episode of Chart Guru today on August uh, 19th. Uh, the Dow Jones Industrials uh, closed with a loss of 163 points today in spite of very heavy efforts of the plunge protection team, the PPT, to uh, support the market and generate a rally. But the selling overwhelmed them and the market closed down substantially. We saw the same thing happening in China, where at first the Chinese government was able to produce a rally of 1.2%, and uh, then uh, the market overwhelmed them, and the market closed down about 5%. Uh, so let's look at the U.S. stock market right now. Today we look at the uh, iShares for the Russell 2000 index. These are the small cap stocks and the uh, ETF is IWM and uh, you see here a number of uh, uh, technical indicators we have uh, talked about this index this is uh, what we consider to be the leader um, uh, at a, an important market top because the small caps are much overvalued and they're the first ones to go down and uh, you will see that in our Wellington letter as we describe it in every issue and usually we have about two to three issues a month. Uh, here you can see the uh, red line here. This is the 200 day moving average. Uh, many technicians consider that to be the dividing line between a bull market and a bear market. And you can see here in uh, late last year, it got down here and each time it got down to that line, that uh, had a rally okay and so that worked pretty well until we got into uh, August here when it didn't work anymore here's the line and here's the penetration to the downside usually when you have a penetration of an important support uh, line there is a rally back underneath it and it hits that line and then the uh, real uh, serious decline starts and we will uh, have to see if that happens now. Um, these are fan lines, okay? And what, uh, what we do here is we connect various important uh, bottoms with important tops. And you can see that how this line here held back each rally uh, until uh, June. And then uh, that was the final up move attempt. It was a new high in the IWM but then quickly reverse downward. So that made this also a false upside breakout, which is also very bearish. Okay, then we drew another line in here, connecting again the bottom uh, here and then the top here. And you can see how when it penetrated that trend line, it did rally back, just uh, as we said before, underneath that line, it got resistance, and then it uh, declined again. Okay, so then we draw this uh, fan line in here uh, again uh, uh, connecting this bottom right here and then the market rallied underneath it and now it seems like it wants to go down again but of course uh, charts don't necessarily predict the future so we'll have to keep an eye out on it. here underneath we have what's called a deep trended price oscillator uh, this is uh, uh, nice because it helps you to view more clearly at times what the market is doing and um, here we uh, the blue line is a moving average a 14 day moving average to, just to smooth it out and you can see here we see a similar thing the actual detrend here made a high then dropped below here and now a drop and made a newer low notice that this is the lowest low since um, uh, what was it, the October of last year okay so that's important and um, this line is now the moving average is now clearly downward trending so that gives us important signals again in the Wellington letter we explain exactly how these indicators uh, work and function but we don't have time for that here today thank you very much for joining us today uh, I think over the next uh, uh, several months you will want to get our continued analysis not just what is here on YouTube maybe uh, you know once a week you need continuous advice we do have services for short-term traders that come out almost daily and they're very valuable you can probably make enough profits 
in, uh, in a week to pay for the service for many years. All right, this is Bert Doman signing off.